I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of Biosol. The brilliant innovation of Biosol is that it's two very simple things combined to make something greater than the whole, which is compost and what we're calling these days nutrimental sulfur or elemental sulfur. So the purpose of the composts with the elemental sulfur is to be a carrier, to get that sulfur to the soil, essentially as a soil health amendment, as nutrition. And this is a view of the composting production facility on the global transportation hub outside of Regina, Saskatchewan, homegrown, Canadian made folks. We have probably 15,000, 20,000 metric tons of sulfur ready to go this spring. Uh, this is a ra rather extraordinary homegrown innovation. By putting these two things together, we've got a slow release product that we can apply on the soil in high rates to last multiple years. And the beauty is that the product releases in conjunction with good growing conditions. So you can see the production facility here where the elemental sulfur comes in, gets blended with the compost. The compost goes to work biologically to break down that mineral-like quality of the elemental sulfur. And you end up with a product that has varying particle sizes, which is the key to it agronomically. So the particles that are less than 150, 200, 250 microns are very dust-like. They're that small. That's about the width of a human hair. And it is essentially immediately available. It is like taking cash out of an ATM. That sulfur is going to be available first year. And then as you go up in particle size, those particles release slower. And that's where we really obtain our uh, long, long format where we're providing sulfur to the soils through all crops for multiple years. And the surprising thing is just how much sulfur it takes to grow high yields in a rotation like Terry has, which he'll talk about. But our strategy is essentially horseshoes and hand grenades, carpet bombing. Uh, we're using an oversupply of sulfur given the price point. We're building our soils, which is a great theme as well, doing it sustainably. So we're going to put down uh, 10 acres per ton. We're going to put down 220 pounds of product and it's 00070 analysis. So that's going to give you over 150 pounds of actual S. And the neat thing is that that's going to supply you immediately and into the future, four to six years. And we're going to see today exactly how you measure those results and what that looks like, because we should be seeing high percentage of sulfur in our plants. We should be seeing great and S ratios. We should be seeing less sulfur deficiency uh, as we continue to increase yields. So all these things work together brilliantly to, to provide you a really neat, cost-effective, agronomically sound, sustainable source of sulfur. And you can see how it's getting loaded here for delivery into super bees. And then we get into the spreading of it, which is kind of a unique side of the product as well. So technically speaking, the product stores outside. It's sort of handled like lime. It's an aggregate uh, through the inventiveness of our network of trusted applicators. We have 40 plus of those entities, retailers, applicators in the network. They've found lots of innovative ways to get this to the customer's fields, as you can see with all kinds of different machines. But note that they're all spin spreaders. So this product has to be spun on and that is due to the variable particle size and there's some moisture in the product due to the compost and so we're dispersing all of these particles onto the soil surface allowing it to oxidize typically get spread on top although it can be incorporated and what you've got is the fines accurately spread and how we measure that is through pan testing and a very simple method where pans get set out at a measured distance and poured into vials so that we can measure not only the consistent volume across the pattern, but we want to have the variety of particle sizes. We get these bolts in the beginning and the lifespan of the application. 
it's a biological process how the sulfur is released in the soil so it takes good temperature moisture and oxygen to release and the cool thing is that happens in conjunction with good growing conditions so that ensures a good sulfur supply and if it's too wet if it's too dry if there's no biological activity going on in the soil hence nothing's really growing that sulfur stays in the bank for another day and it doesn't leach until it becomes available which is a big distinction from your manufactured synthetic high salt bulky index index fertilizers such as AMS so this is really a natural solution this is a sustainable solution it's a cost effective one and we've had a lot of fun bringing that to the market